Their votes in favor of same-sex marriage garnered them praise and campaign cash from advocates. But two of the four Republican senators who broke ranks and voted for the law are now facing challenges from their right flank. Assemblyman Steve McLaughlin, a Republican from the Capital Region, is gearing up to face Senator Roy McDonald. Senator Mark Rasanti, a Buffalo freshman, lost a coveted endorsement last week of the Erie County Conservative Party to Chuck Swanick. If you take a look what uh, what is, was accomplished in 2011 and moving forward in 2012, uh, I am confident that we as Western New Yorkers and across New York State are a lot better off where we are now uh, than they were in 2009 and 2010. McLaughlin, who said Wednesday in a telephone interview that he was planning to make a decision on the race soon, is picking up support from the Saratoga County GOP establishment. It's a potentially troubling development for the Senate Republicans, who hold a 32-29 to 29 majority. But lobbyists opposed to gay marriage say the opposition to the incumbents is more complicated than just their yes votes. Uh, particularly with Senator McDonald, we've seen that, uh, that it's an issue of uh, really a flip-flop on tax increases. Uh, there's been some union issues there that Republican voters are concerned about. In Buffalo with Grisanti, it's in the question of integrity. Uh, people there are saying if you can't trust him on the vote concerning same-sex marriage, what can you trust him on? But the senators do have a powerful and wealthy ally in New York City Mayor Michael Bloomberg. After the same-sex marriage vote, Bloomberg showered the four senators, including Jim Alisi and Stephen Saland, with campaign contributions maxing out the limit. Well, I can't go up there and vote for them. I vote in New York City. Uh, but I've certainly supported them financially. I've uh, done fundraisers and gone to fundraisers for them. I've encouraged friends to do that. Uh, I just have never believed that uh, it's the government's business who you marry. And I think uh, we as New Yorkers should stand proud, no matter what we believe personally, Getting the government out of making that decision was the right thing to do. Conservative activists remain upset that majority Republicans in the Senate allowed a vote on the gay marriage bill to occur in the first place. But part of the Senate GOP's calculus may have been letting the issue go this year in a difficult election cycle and not face the wrath of even better financed advocates on the other side. In Albany, Nick Reisman, YNN.